Welcome back to our channel. This is Vector Optics. Today we are talking about one piece and two piece mounts. From the types and comparisons, we want to leave you covered for the next precision rifle build. Well, here we go. Let's talk about the types of the scope mount first. Basically, we have three types of mounts. We define them as Victor Optics, Mark, and Precision Mount. Victor Optics refers to the mounts on the Victor Optics, another brand of our products, which are for entry level shooters. Mark is for medium level shooters, which is heavier and have more screws that can hold the scopes. Also, most of the Mark mounts are Weaver mounts. As to the Precision Mounts, they are Picatinny mount. They have six screws and can fit the Picatinny rail stably than the other two mounts would do. So it is one of the most expensive mounts in Vector Optics. Then move on to One Piece Mounts. As the name implies, One Piece Mount is a mount that two scope rings are mounted to a single base. One Piece Scope Mount are incredibly rigid and durable. Long range runs are typically very powerful runs and are capable of some brutal recoil. There are mainly two types of scope mounts in vector optics. One is the most commonly seen 0MOA mount, while another is 20MOA scope mount. It seems that they are almost the same in terms of appearance. However, 20MOA mount slightly leans and compensate the bullet drop that allows for more usable elevation range. Before start, we must highlight that these falling clips are exaggerated to show the difference between the two mounts. They do not necessarily mean that POA and POI will be far apart in real shooting. So suppose the orange dot is POI and the purple dot is POA. When the POA is much more far beneath the POI, you will find that with zero MOA mount, the elevation is not able to go below anymore. However, with the 20 MOA, we can easily reach the POA. That's the significance of the 20 MOA mount. Then we will talk about two piece mounts. Two piece rings are durable and lighter than the one piece mount. They require proper alignment. Two piece rings can easily stay on the optic and be moved around from gun to gun with ease if you choose to do so. What's more, they can be put on any position that you want on the rail. Compared to two-piece mounts, one-piece mounts ensure the two scope rings are always positioned perfectly in line with each other. Take our XASR3035 and the XASR3002 as an example, of which the price are the same line. Look at the pair of bearings. Their diameter is 30 mm and the inner diameter of the bearing ring is 30 mm as well. The bearing can pass through the ring easily. Fix them separately on one piece scope ring mount and two piece mount. You may find the bearing mount slides smoothly on one piece mount. On the contrary, two-piece mount is not in line with each other like the one-piece mount do. So the bearing ring stuck in the junction. In order to align them, you should use an offset bubble. First, put them on the mount to make sure that both of the mounts are parallel. Second, Set the bearings and the ring on it. Then put the offset bubble on the mount to ensure that installed bearings are parallel. Now the bearings are parallel and the ring goes smoothly on them. But compared to a one-piece mount, it really takes time to install a two-piece mount. In this aspect, we think that under the same price, one-piece mount is superior than two-piece. What's more, manufacturers can make a little tilt on the one-piece mount to add more effective elevation range due to the cosiality, which has already been shown before. However, two-piece mounts compared to one-piece mounts 
they can move to the position you want to put. That means even a short and small scope can be fixed on the rail with two-piece mount, which cannot be easily done by a one-piece mount. Speaking of so much of one-piece mount and two-piece mounts, which type do you prefer? Share with us in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next episode.